got a full load getting ready to set up. I'm behind. I'm going to treat for mites and get going. Yes, I know that one and one or two ain't no problem that I can see through as long as it's just me and you, my crazy little bees. So the queen marking color for 2023 is red. It cycles through five different colors um, because queen bees only live for four years, so then you know what year your queen was born. So I just have a little baggie here filled with things that I might need. I have my marking kit, queen cage, hive tools and stuff so I'll just bring that with me as I go uh, but it's gonna be a busy day setting up the hives I've done nothing this year as you know and so I just need to get everything sorted out before I get swarms and that sort of thing so let's go <laughs> off the comb on the top and the bottom it's called dressing the frame you can actually train bees to um, like make the comb where you want them to because if you keep removing it from a certain spot then there's no, no good there because you're gonna get rid of it eventually it's also good to do so like your honey supers don't get stuck This is my dead hive from the winter, and I'm just going to see if I can make any splits into this hive. So I'm just getting it ready. I'm also just going to put a strap around this way and do the same with this hive. Because it might be bear, a big bear season or not. I don't think it will be, but we'll see. Girls are looking pretty good.
for yet. The end frames are still empty, no honey. So I'm just going to treat them with night strips. This year I'm using Hop Guard, which is new for me. And these ones require two strips for eight to ten frames of beads. And you just kind of drape them over the center there. two strips. Just gonna take this glove off. I'm going to put just a regular cover on for now. Vent hole in the front. And for bears. I'm strapping the hive together, which worked well, and then the other strap's going to go around the whole beam and frame combo. I'm hoping that these ones are an easy split because they're double brood, and then I can just break it in half, but I need to check for queen cell. And this uh, hive stand needs three beams still. over to that prepared hive that have queen cups but I haven't found any queen cells yet. It looks like I've ripped them apart in the bottom here like they're being built on the bottom. just going to place the bottom on top of this one and then I'll probably move that hive right here because it's a split and then they can come any bees that are foraging can populate that hive unless I find the queen and that would be awesome or a queen cell <laughs>
same with those, move them over. Hopefully I can make another split, but we'll see. So I throw all I throw all the wax over the fence. The seagulls come and clean it up. It's awesome. It's like they know. So that's what I've been doing. So if you have seagulls in the area, it's perfect because I just put it all over on the other side and they clean it up while I'm out here. Here they come. Cool. If I make another split, I'll put it here and then there will get some action and some help in there. Actually, you know what? I need a drink. Everyone's closed up for now. I'm going to take a break, show you the temperature. It's 33 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees Fahrenheit today. So I'm just gonna walk home, get a drink, come back and finish the last two. because there's not much going on at the bottom. I don't think I can split them. There's not, I don't think that's a great idea. I don't see any queen cells or anything like that. I'm doing good though, but look at that frame from the bear. I'm just going to switch it around and leave it here. Um, I'm going to put 
put a strap underneath and call it a day. I'm just switching them because bees work from, they like to fill up the top first. So if this one's not full, then they can work on that. do one mite strip because this is a split. I'll just drape it over two here. Had a look at this hive which is bearding pretty bad so I'm going to put a honey super on there because I did treat them for mites and I don't want them to be out of a house. I'm just setting up I'm just setting up a spare hive here in case of any swarms because it is a swarm season. All fresh stuff in there, which isn't ideal to catch swarms, but I'm doing it all oh, hard. Got two in the armpit. successful most of my stings were kind of stupid so it's gonna clean up the yard hopefully that hives okay I think maybe some of these because I hadn't set up the hive right away are trying to get in there but I'm not too sure anyway thanks for tuning in Guys, you gotta go up the tree.